guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's alicia so for today's video i'm going to be telling you guys a story time and hopefully it is really entertaining but before i start i just want to say this story time is about the first time i got stupid drunk okay like all the way fucked up blocked out you know just stupid drunk and before i start i just want to say i do not condone underage drinking but if you're gonna drink that's your problem i don't give a shit but if you do drink uh, make sure that you're with people who you care about or people who care about you and people who will make sure that you're good make sure you're safe and make sure you get home don't take drinks from anybody take drinks from people who you know mix your own drink and um drink responsibly that's all I gotta say. So this story time actually happened when I was in Jamaica on vacation. You guessed it. Um, the legal drinking age in Jamaica is 18. I was a couple days shy of 18. So I just took advantage of the opportunity, even though, let's be real, <laughs> people don't give a shit. Um, so there was this party that I really wanted to go to. It was the party to end the summer it was going to be the latest of lit party it was supposed to be a soul cost slash dance hall party you know it was gonna be lit i'm not gonna lie okay and i really wanted to go all year i was like from i saw the party here i really really wanted to go i started preparing my outfit you know all that type of shit so yeah so the day of the party came and the promoters were like, the party's starting early, everybody should come out early, blah, blah, blah. But if you are a Jamaican, you know that when they say early, they be late. Like, don't go early. Don't listen to them and go early. Because everybody started showing up after 12 o'clock when the party was supposed to end at 12 o'clock, okay? So basically, my cousin and I were going. My cousin and I and then my boyfriend was going to come with his friends but my cousin and I went with my brother's friend so he drove us to the party it wasn't far we could have walked but you know for safety safety reasons he drove us to the party which I'm very thankful for I use my hands a lot <laughs> I'm very thankful for that so we got to the party at around 10 30 at night not a lot of people there the promoters were there and uh, the person who's keeping the party, you know, people who's selling alcohol, some dancers. Uh, my boyfriend was there with his friends, but not a lot of people was at the party yet because it's just 10.30 p.m., not even 11, 11 o'clock yet. So I got there, stayed outside a little bit. Then we um, drove around, got some food because I was hungry. But I couldn't eat. I didn't have an appetite. And that's where I went wrong. I should have had something to eat. But I couldn't eat. Um, my brother's friend bought us food. He bought us fried fish. He bought us like festivals, which are like dumplings, fried dumplings. And um, couldn't eat it. He brought us um, jerk chicken neck. Couldn't eat it. Just everything that he bought, I did not want to eat. I did not have an appetite which was really sad because <laughs> um, that plays major role into this story. So I didn't have an appetite, didn't eat. Okay, cool. Went into the party venue at about 11 p.m. My cousin and I and um, my brother's friend. So the three of us stood together um, right beside the sound box because I was basically hiding from everyone because I don't know anyone besides my boyfriend, his friends. So you know i'm just there i'm just hiding i'm gonna insert a picture of what i looked like of what i wore to the party and keep in mind it was a soca slash dance hall party okay so my outfit matched with that it was supposed to be a carnival based party you feel me we stood beside the sound box one of them and i went to buy a drink so i got a rum cream okay cool no problem it's my first drink of the night Blase, blase, blase. Okay, so I got a rum cream, chugged that shit down, wasn't even thinking, wasn't taking my time, wasn't drinking water, wasn't diluting it, wasn't doing nothing. My cousin just stood beside of me, she wasn't even drinking. This girl got drunk at the last party, so she was like, I'm not drinking tonight, I'm not drinking. So I'm like, cool, whatever, I'm going to drink, I'm going to enjoy my night. So, chug my rum cream down. And then I went back again 
and got a sorrel bear. Okay, cool, no problem. By this time, it was about 12 o'clock at this time. So people were starting to come into the party. People were starting to get lit. There's this lady in front of me. She was dancing. I was feeling the dancing. I started dancing too. You know, the music was starting to get lit, you know. The alcohol was starting to kick in. So I drank my sorrel beer. Then I wanted to piss. <laughs> so I wanted to piss. So my cousin and I left the party venue. We went outside and I wanted to piss. I went to piss. So remind you, I didn't know where the bathroom was inside the party venue. So I went outside in front of the car in some bushes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is just too funny. So I went outside in front of the car in some bushes and I fell. <laughs> I fell in the ditch. I fell in the bushes. Okay. My cousin was just there laughing her ass off at me. I was basically laughing by this time i was fucking drunk i was drunk okay i was on the road on the merry road to drunkenness <laughs> okay my cousin is there she's laughing her ass at me uh watching if anyone is coming i quickly cleaned myself up i got up and remind you that outfit was a whole mess i should have not worn that outfit but anyways Spent about five minutes out of the car just getting some fresh hair and then boom went back into the party venue Okay, cool. I didn't learn my lesson there. Actually. I went back again, and I got another rum cream <clears throat> And if you're Jamaican, you know that rum cream is like super duper strong you have to mix it with something like Mix the rum cream with a little water sis put some ice in it so the ice can melt in it so it can dilute a little bit rum cream is like strong Especially if you're lightheaded like me. Okay, so basically I got another rum cream. So this was my third bottle of alcohol I'm just there drinking sipping doing dancing enjoying my night bitch um, Then my knees started to feel tingly. Oh my god All the alcohol just hit me at once my knees started to feel tingly my head started to spin I'm just there laughing. I'm dancing. I'm laughing Everyone around me could see that I was drunk at this point. Okay, I was dead drunk. So I was like to my cousin, let's go out to the car. By this time, it was about 1.30 in the morning. I know the timeline kind of sketchy, but you know, it was about 1.30 in the morning. And this is when the music starts to get extra late. You know, those old school beats start to come on. Those songs that you hardly hear. Those songs that just make you want to dance. Those songs that make you feel happy and rejoicing. Them nice dance hall songs start to come on. And a bitch, I was like, let's go out to the car. Because I'm starting to feel a little tipsy, you know. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to fall over in this bitch. So we get out to the car, straight laughing. I was just laughing because I was drunk, okay? I was drunk. I was done out here. So opened the car door. I sat in the back of the car, texted my boyfriend. I'm like, bring me a bottle of water. He came out like a minute later with a bottle of water. He's like, it's time to go home. I'm like, hell no, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, it's not, sir. It's not time to go home yet, okay? The party's just starting to get extra lit. You talking about going home? So he's like, no, 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 I'm for real. It's time to go home. So I got out of the car, okay, after I chugged the bottle of water down. I'm like, I just need a few minutes to feel better. So I got out of the car, and that's when I felt like I wanted to throw up. So I went to the back of the car, and... Excuse me. So I went to the back of the car and I was stooping over. I stooped down and my head was like down. And I wanted to throw up, but the throw up wouldn't come up. So he was like, Shauna, it's time to go home. I'm like, I'm not ready yet. He's like, I'm done playing with your ass. He picked me up and just threw me in the back of the damn car and shut the door. <laughs> No, I'm laughing now, but it's not funny. So then my brother's friend just drove off. I couldn't even open the door and get out. Then my brother's friend was just like, oh, it is time to go home. You are drunk. 
you know, it's time for you to go get some rest. I'm like, no, I've been waiting on this part of the whole summer and now I can't enjoy it. He's just like, there will be other parties, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, that was my last party. It was leaving the Monday. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? So anyway, we got to my house, started texting my boyfriend, started cussing him out. I'm like, you just sent me home because you wanted to go cheat. And da, da 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 I was just going off with this boy. He's like, no, I'm going home too, blah, blah, blah. So I started, like, telling him to come see me, to come by my house because I'm lonely. I feel like I'm dying. Girl, it was just a whole mess. Then, boom, I went into the bathroom because I have to get out of my party clothes to put on my sleeping clothes, right? Hmm. I started throwing up everywhere, everywhere. I started throwing up. I was out of it. My cousin ass was in bed. <laughs> this bitch was not paying me no mind. Okay. I was just throwing up all over the damn place. So finally, I got done throwing up. I washed my face and washed out my mouth. I cleaned my makeup off a little bit. And then I went straight into the bed. I was out of it. So about four minutes later after that, I saw someone sitting on the bed, bitch. I was like, who the fuck are you? Why are you in my bed? Go home. It was my boyfriend. <laughs> it was my boyfriend. Like, I forgot that I actually called him or texted him and told him to come see me, blah, blah, blah. I actually forced him to come see me um, because he was like, I'm going home, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, boy, I'm dying. Come see me. So he actually came, but I didn't know it was him. I was like, who are you in my bed? you know, drunk as ever. So it was him. And then we just lay together. Bitch, I just laid on his damn chest and then I fall asleep. I was out of it. When he left in the morning, I didn't even know when the hell if he left because I didn't even see him. Um. So yeah, that was the end of the story time. I woke up the next day and I was doing perfectly fine. I was okay. My knees were still tingling, bitch. It was a hot mess. Now, <laughs> I just want to say, I will never do that again, okay? I will never do that again. I know I'm going to drink again because I'm going to drink again. But this time, I'm going to make sure I eat before I drink because this is the first time something like this ever happened to me. Like, I was dead drunk, okay? I was fucked up. I was messed up. I was dying out here, okay? So I just want to say next time, for my sanity... I'm going to eat before I drink and of course I'm going to always make sure there is someone there that I trust that can make sure I'm good, make sure I'm safe. Um, I never go to parties alone. This is why I had my boyfriend there, my brother's friend and my cousin, even though if my cousin got drunk, then we'd both be fucked up. But you know, I had people there who I knew that I knew cared for me and that I knew would make sure I got home safe and all of that so that's the end of the story guys i hope you guys enjoyed the story time please give it a big thumbs up comment and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and for different videos in general because i do everything on this channel so i'll see you guys in my next video peace out